Okay, so let's talk about the different types or styles of videos that you can create with smartphones. And you know, the smartphone essentially is a video camera, right? Like I definitely call it a smartphone, but we all have them. But so when you look at it, you know, I give these, you know, different types of styles to visualize, and I'm gonna show them here as well. But we're gonna talk about them through the lessons, the different things that like, you can create. Now, a lot of these things have different names, but I'm just trying to give it a, a style or things we've created, you know, thousands of times here. So number one, I call it the spokesperson video, or a lot of people call it the talking head. It's me, I am a talking head to you right now. This is majority of YouTubers do this, right? They just create a specific style that they have. They're talking into a camera. They do hard cuts in there. They make it funny. That, that is the talking head. The reason in business talking head got a, such a bad rap because it screwed up in the early days when they you know, spent fifteen to twenty thousand dollars on a video. They had a massive studio, and they put these poor people, business people, inside a studio with so many bright lights. And then they told them to read a teleprompter, and they told them to act natural. Well, acting natural is an oxymoron, right? You can't. Which created really bad corporate videos, and the talking head got a rap, bad rap. And even now, I'm in a small, tiny little office right now, shooting this video on the weekend. Could I be in a fancy video or a fancy studio? Sure. Would it make a difference to the content I'm delivering or teaching you? Absolutely not. And that is really what a spokesperson, a kind of a talking head video is. And majority of the stuff that we do is that, right? It's subject matter. It's also an interview person. And, and what I'm gonna do is gonna show you these different styles and I'm gonna show you how they're mixed in with kind of B-rolls or some kind of graphical content to increase the engagement. But I'll show you how they're kind of made. So all of this stuff can be shot and is shot on using the smartphone initially, including the B-roll footage, which we'll talk about. But you have an interview, what right? If you're interviewing something, and we'll talk about this as well, if you're interviewing somebody, they can be looking directly into the camera or they can be looking off the camera interviewing. There's a couple different styles and we'll talk about that as well. A demo video, right? A lot of companies I work with have either software products or hardware products or something physical to show. You wanna have somebody talking about it, but then at the same time, then you wanna show either the software demonstration or how something physically works. Piece of manufacturing, you name it. Doesn't matter what it is, you wanna physically show it. And you can actually shoot those on smartphones as well and integrate them into a very nice video. An event, a lot of companies do conferences, right? Corporate events, a lot of things going on. All that stuff can be shot uh, on the smartphone as well. Training videos like I'm doing, whiteboard videos. I got a whiteboard, I'm writing it down, right? I'm shooting it uh, on, a, on a camera ready to go. It's relatively easy to do. It's a training video, whiteboard videos are done on a regular basis on the internet to help you train. B-rolls, I'll explain what that is, that is supplementary content that you fill in into a video that again could shot, be all shot. Uh, on a smartphone and text overlays. There's back, basic textual overlays that you can do if you want to spice things up and bring it to kind of like some, you know, a lot of the times we do that with talking head or spokesperson to, uh, you know, support what they're saying. We'll bring textual animations up on top of that. So let's really look at what B roll is and how this style is kind of structured and works together. Um, to create a piece of video content. Again, all of this stuff can be produced and shot on smartphones.